Hey guys, I hope that you're doing fantastic and are enjoying your weekend the best that you can. Um, I hope that you are finding everything very well inside your soul more than anything, regardless what's going on around you and I. Uh, I wish you well. If you are brand spanking new, I'm not uh, churchy or religious, but I could come across that way towards you real heavy at times. I do use living language on my channel. It's part of my heritage. Um, I use the scripture and I am um, connecting with Jehovah Elohim. He is my king. He is my Yeshua, my salvation in Hebrew and he's fantastic and he's tangible on my channels and uh, I just love him and I boast about him because he deserves to be boasted about. And he's running the show in the universe and there's a lot going on right now. A lot of people uh, need to lean on Jehovah and call out upon him because he really is our salvation a lot of people going through some stuff now especially with what they say about the pandemic and stuff like that uh reoccurring and uh anyway if you are dealing with that i send you love and light but if you are new I, i'm just myself on my channel i'm just very spiritual i've had an awakening and i just allow the spirit to speak expressively through all kinds of things so if you stay you stay if you don't then this is uh, where we'll depart thanks for checking me out for just a second those of you who are returning welcome back did i already say happy birthday happy anniversary and all that if if i I don't know if I did or not. Double, double a blessing for you if it is a special day. Uh, anyway, this is the day that Jehovah hath made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, let's take a look at what the weather is in the spirit and see what he brings out in this reading, the good, the bad, the ugly, so that we know how to prepare uh, when the energies come across our way. All right, let's get started. All right. Thank you, Jehovah, for clear to find messages. I thank you that you bind, block, and rebuke all negative, dry, wicked, dark energies and forces and command them at your rebuke to go straight to the pit and stay there. I just thank you for clear to find messages for uh, the brokenhearted to be fixed and healed and comforted. I thank you for your Holy Spirit. I thank you that you tell us the things before they happen. What do we need to know and understand or bypass or continue in or be warned about? What's the energy here? Somebody was in some mischief in one of my other readings. And on another reading that I did, somebody was trying to return and um, to, to make up. And that energy was there in the reading that I did with the mischief. But there was also upright energy as well being found in that energy. So not everybody is wicked. Um, um, but the wicked are getting taken out of the earth, we know. And that's exciting for us for, for, for them to go away. There's decisions here with the Two of Pentacles. This is back and forth um, energy. It says too much going on at once is here. And there's a need to make a decision and to consider a more playful type of an approach. And so this is real grounded energy. This is earth coming out for us within whatever the back and forth, back and forth uh, decision has been within either yourself or with others. And something is just like, um, you know... For some people, it's, I guess, overwhelming to make a decision. There's a lot of things taking place. And somebody don't know how to approach a certain situation, especially if it's been really bad. Especially if it's been really bad in, in a situation. And you don't, you're just like, oh, my God, there's just so much going on. I need to make a decision. I need to go over here. But something over here has happened. And don't know how to approach this. And so, you always know, bringing something out here with wording on it, stating that you need to consider a more kind of a playful approach. Obviously, you need to be down to earth and you need to be practical because earth energy is practical energy. Um, and it's very profitable energy for us. So as long as you're connecting with the divine and walking in truth, he'll, he'll allow you to find that decision that needs to be made in all purity. What else do you want to bring out here? What else do you want to address? What do we need to know about Jehovah? What's the decision about? What's the situation? What's the motive behind it? I'm just going to take the top card that I see. Okay, well, I've seen the, the full card already in the deck that I was using. It, it had the... Um, well, I'll just we'll just we'll just focus on this energy here. But the fool did come out. If something was foolish, it was foolish. Uh, this is the dreamer here. It says to take a leap of, leap of faith and to follow your dreams. And there's unexpected opportunities here as well. 
um, just make sure that you're being grounded and practical and uh, knowing that you you need to do it in all uprightness otherwise this is foolish behavior people and uh, we know that um, the fool will return back to folly if um, if the decisions are look people we've seen for the last couple of days so many swords so many backstabbing things taking place and a lot of people involved in some stuff and it's been a disgrace for some people so we do know that there has been some type of foolishness for some people so and then the six of uh, cups is here I just seen that in my audio reading I'm gonna take another deck this is just overall energy for us so a decision to return because the six of cups is somebody who is literally been in nostalgia and they're having a lot of memories of history and things that have happened in childhood or children or parents with the six of cups or a blast from the past and somebody's just like oh my god i got so much going on i need to take a leap of faith i need to make a decision here and how do i do it and you always say take a lighter approach at something i mean obviously you don't want to be goofy um but you do need to take um a sensible approach to whatever is going on to return especially if it's family because that goes back to soulmates and some people's family members have uh, backstabbed them and they've gotten caught up in some stuff it's not been nice it's not been nice there had been mischief and foley around some situations and some people been trying to catch some people up and store them up and get them caught up in stuff or they did and that's why now there's somebody trying to take a leap of faith in doing something with somebody from your past or something like that. The Six of Cups is people coming back for forgiveness. It is a forgiveness card. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It's going to come out again, people. It really is. So, first of all, we have the wheel. And we, we keep seeing the wheel. This traveling. This is the truth. This is the husband. This is law. This would go back to fortune. Foreign people, foreign places. We are dealing with that right now with the pandemic and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, this is spirituality as well. This is also exaggeration and balance in the negative. Okay, and so if, if you're returning to folly, then it's humongous, exaggerated stuff with this energy. Um, maybe with the husband or something like that because it represents that. But this also go back to protection, but it is truth. And regardless how the hand of the divine, because it's the Yod and the Hebrew, it's going to turn in the way, because it's karmic. It's going to turn in the way that it needs to because of exaggeration or a lack of balance or because of the truth or it's just time for something to turn here. So we've got it here and somebody has been backstabbed because it's showing it right here. We showed it right here, people. The Ten of Swords coming out again. Uh, we've seen so many swords the last couple of days, haven't we? Because we know that there's been some crap, and this will break down to the truth. And somebody need, is trying to make a decision because of what's happened. We're at a ten here. We have a ten or higher arcana, and we have a ten of swords. And so something been going on for a while. It's just time for the hand of the divine to, to turn something. Oppression. Look at that. It's over. Something is over. We keep seeing something be over. The oppression is done. Somebody's, my God, they're down to their knees. They've been pressed so hard, even at their head. And we know what that means in the Hebrew, the word oppression. And um, so we do have legal stuff coming out here. This is generosity. This is the six of cups. Or six. Of, excuse me, the six of pentacles. But it does have the legal skills in here. Somebody was backstabbed in the past from your childhood or a sibling or something like that and somebody knows it and somebody needs to take a leap of faith to return for grace um but must be done in truth and truth alone because there's karmic activity connected to this now i did a reading today uh, to did two different readings that the seven of cups came out three times okay so i've seen the seven of cups today that's a consequence and obviously from the past there was a consequence to a choice that was made there's a consequence when the will comes out it's also a luck card as well okay it's uh so we have the hand and we're seeing which is the yod the the authority is here the ability the movement the might is here and then we have somebody's hands literally tied behind their back okay and uh, had some something sharp has taken place behind the back of somebody whether that be words or something literally was a stabbing of some kind we have physical energy we have um we have uh earth we have everybody earth water air and fire all of it's out here so it really doesn't matter um 
but there is truth and the truth and then this also will break down to the truth and the truth is here because we know that the ace of wands in the hand is the torch in the runes it's the truth it's also legal victory and when legal 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 okay that's huge let's clarify these so we do have a lawyer here, the hermit, the physician, the guru, the wisdom, the tet in the Hebrew that is the snake in the basket that wants to store you down in clay. So we have had, you know, somebody back and forth that has been foolish that's tried to do that crap. And literally this morning, people, that reading with somebody was in uh, mischief. Somebody was in mischief and there were secret death situations there. Okay? Well, you, if you're in the truth, babe, you don't have to worry about these idiots. You always shaking them out of the earth. I mean, we have a lawyer, a doctor, a judge, a guru, a physician here. Somebody who knows how to go within and analyze something. They know the truth because he's got the lantern there um, showing up here. So that's at the bottom of that. Show me the um, wheel. Show me the wheel, please, Jehovah. Thank you. Um, contemplation card. Okay, well, we have a, this, you know, children are here, and we have somebody checking somebody out on the on the internet. This is a little spa. Uh, this could be, so, since we got law out here, this could be a private investigator as well, and the sword's down to be quiet and listening. We have somebody here that's needed an alignment. Okay, if you are dealing with somebody with back issues, then that there's a uh, heavy oppression upon that person there, or has been, or spiritual situation from that kind of stuff but just for a point of reference that's here but this person uh sees the truth up in the air sees that cup okay and normally this is somebody's crying and stuff and they're pouting at the three cups or the three situations or the three soulmates or whatever the crap has been down here but somebody's contemplating they're looking up at the cup from the heavens itself and um if that's the truth and they're looking at the heavens to take the cut from the heavens, that's positive energy then because this is a positive overthrow here with that. Show me the Ten of Swords, please. Or somebody just been sitting there stuck in a rut, stuck in a rut. The hand of the divine now is turning something to, to release, to stop this crap. Actually, one of the words that came out in one of my readings uh, in my homemade deck was to release now. To let go right now. And somebody be holding on, holding on, holding on something. You hope it's going to make it. And you're going to wish that you had people. Because people have opened up portals in this realm. And has brought some things that have been imported uh, from, from afar. Foreign people, foreign places. And now people are dealing with the pandemic, pandemic's crap again. And it's plaguish type of stuff. Show me the Ten of Swords. Because people just cannot give it up. Cannot give it up. The Emperor is here. So I seen the emperor and the empress and the justice today together in one of my readings, okay? And the emperor's headship, it's a it's a boss figure. It's war energy. Okay, obviously something going on, somebody been warring, somebody been oppressed. And when that type of leadership people are in um, the leadership, it really does make the people mourn. Let me get this crap out of here. That that's just no good. Whatever this is. Uh, whatever this this is a father, a um, boss, just somebody who may be a known figure. Somebody just needs to get up and take action. The, the emperor represents the father figure of the universe. He would get up and give war uh, to the enemy, right, and stop this bull crap that's been going on. So if this is somebody in the law, somebody in the law needs to get up and do something right. Uh, so we've got the hangman here, and the hangman represents all kinds of stuff. This is prophecy going on is one of the meaning of the hangman. It's also um, looking at things from different points of views and trying to figure out what to do. So we have the first house and the last house. We have the head and we have the feet showing up here. Somebody is thinking and needing to make a movement and they've been flipped upside down. How do I do so? Because they've been contemplating here because of the truth and law or bosses or work or something like that. And uh, if somebody has been psychedelic, we've been seeing the Ten of Swords come out in this other deck states that somebody had an addiction. And it showed up today in that other reading and the High Priestess was there that secret addictions that some people have been dealing with. And uh, the hangman goes to psychedelic stuff as well, poisons and things like that. 
And um, so we got backwards organization going on. This is a sacrificing card as well. It's a confusion, okay? And Jehovah is not an Elohim of confusion, but we also are told that he does give out a line of confusion to wickedness. And people that won't get out of it and they want to just stay hung up on a tree, they're cursed there, people. Uh, somebody is just, but in the up and up, somebody just got high volume discernment trying to figure out what to do. This is a Lamed in the Hebraic living language. And something is a big deal here is, uh, uh, the lad is here because this will be the, the D and the L and that something's a big deal it is because we got expansion here okay um, uh, somebody try to figure out what to do the head the brain the eyes is here and it's over you don't you don't make a decision. You just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and keep going back to your vomit. You'll hope his hand's gonna turn it. He just is, people. We've been seeing it. Show me the oppression card, please. Show me the ten of wands. So whoever's been oppressed, and baby, you're getting justice. You are gonna get justice. There's luck here for you. Okay, whatever's taking place, there's gonna be a payout for you as well. Show me the ten of wands. Thank you. Yes. Well, look, people, there's 19 swords coming out again. Somebody, look, the devil's in the window looking in on somebody. And they're anxious and they're oppressed. And my God, they're just, what in the world? Why would even leadership even allow this to happen? Well, I don't, I don't want to get it because that's cuckoo-ness in somebody's freaking head to lead that way. That's ridiculous because of death situations has gone on and people have tried to figure out how, how in the world to, um, I guess, speak about something. There's so much, it said too much was going on at one, well, look at all this. Of course it is. Somebody stuck in a rut here. Dull relationships have been going on because people don't want to protect their relationships. We have two protection cards here and two husband energies here as well. And, um... The need to take a, a make a decision is here. You got to make a decision because now Jehovah's made a, a decision to turn something. Now, what are you going to do? You going to go back to the vomit and continue to oppress someone, or are you going to honor and give honor where honors due? Okay, and rest after a broken heart. There's a lot of freaking sores, man, showing up here. That's it's just ridiculous. But this is resting. This is also a contemplating card. Uh, movement is here. Two fours is a house move. And some people now are just freaking out because of situations around money and stuff like that. And, and whatever's gone on here. Because we know people have been contemplating to, to secretly do some crap. So somebody's going within, trying to put a judgment on something. Show me the six of pencils. Yeah. Well, look, people, it really is here. It just keeps coming out. Content, look at all the fire. Look at all the the strife around some stuff, man. Somebody, again, we've seen this yesterday and another day. Somebody has made a decision. They're just out of this crap, man. All this blocking stuff is not working for someone. Okay? So, again, we got five ones here and the other two are behind this person, which is seven ones, which goes to the blocking. And somebody's like, uh-uh, I don't want to do this no more. And they've made a decision to just manifest ideas here. Is this a positive card? Eight ones is a uh, message as well. And somebody needs to take a leap of faith and say, look, Whatever's got to take place, got to take place. Because this goes back to so people fighting because of the generosity. Fighting because the law is involved in something here that's gotten real dirty. And that's what the TED is. Or the upright law enforcement need to get up and do something right. <sighs> or you're going to say, come on, let's go another round. Well, let, let, let's, this is what Jehovah states. You're defeated, foe. And I'm going to put my sort of truth out and go, look, you lost. And if you want to go ahead and jump off that cliff and be crazy again, go ahead. Here's my sword. Let's go another round because I'll, I'll, I'll beat you every freaking time. And we already seen the freaking pride and ego keep coming down, keep coming down with this will. And Jehovah gave the other day that the wicked were going to be taken out of the earth. And that's exactly what's happening. Little by little, he really is taking them out. So we have the T. Uh, and we have the D, we have the date, and somebody's also in their head about a date situation, whatever that is. Um, 
We have Daddy. Daddy is here. Well, we have a Daddy here. We have Di is here. Yes. Anyway, it's time to make a decision. And um, it's time to speak about it, people. You over, you pick it. Uh, somewhere in the woods, so maybe you live in the in the woods, or you're maybe maybe something happened in the woods, or you live in the uh, in the country or something like that. A toolbox is also here. Uh, in a secret safety deposit box. Well, we know that there's money and stuff there. There's an arsonist here and a criminal here with that. Uh, you're an inspiration to my life is coming out here, and you give me hope. Let's pause it. And these are the types of things that some people will need to say. Look, there's something in a safety deposit box that I've had and I've been in my head about it and I want to give it back because this is a generosity card. And just, so just give it back. Um, there's also, whatever the arsonist is, there, there's many stuff attached to that too because some people have done a crime on property and then took the cha-ching and stuff like that for it. They've been in their head because Jehovah won't allow them to... Um, to get away with it. You and I don't get away with anything. But we, you just don't. It might be in a toolbox. I don't know. Some, something to do with some type of a connection to that is here. Jehovah's picking these. Jehovah says vengeance is mine. And some people did take vengeance in their own hand. And something twisted and dark. Yes. Well, we, my God. Look at all this crap that's been coming out of my table the last couple days. It is twisted and dark. The Masons will fix it in the upright way because you're always going to make them and there's music involved. Yes, sir. We know, people. We just know. Okay. We just know. All right. Well, until something is done with all this stuff, Jehovah's going to continue to put the pressure on people. Until you lay the burden down and do the right thing. Even if, if this person here with all this group has decided, you know what, I'm just, I'm not even going to block anymore, but I made a decision. I'm going to go on. But if that person thinks that they're going to go on um, and just go on by themselves, but still leave things behind that are, haven't been fixed, that person's in for a big surprise. Jehovah wants me to tell you that. Even if you're not, if, if your little plans with your group didn't work out and you say, well, I'll just do it. I'll just leave it by myself. Jehovah says, I'm watching you. You, you, you still got you got to face the truth regardless, because Jehovah's not going to let anybody get away with any of it, none of it. So uh, he's knocking the wicked out of the earth right now, and little by little they're going to be going away, whether by jail or they're going to die or something like that. He's going he's going to put the pressure on them because of what they did, this karmic activity out here with this will, people. So uh, regardless where you travel to, you think I got away with it? No, you didn't. Just like that, destruction comes. Just like that in your pride and your foolishness. You return in truth. And you tell the truth. And you be forgiven. And then you be set free in your mind. And then you rest. That's the only way out. For, for the group of people that I'm picking that up to. Alright, so anyway. And then some people are just like, I'm out of this thing. They are going to do the right thing. And then, you know, some people are going to be pardoned for some things that they got caught up in. Because authority is also here. And uh, that was wrong of authority to do something and put somebody in a position like that. So those people, Jehovah knows the heart of every situation. And he's going to release some people. Because they've really put some people up in their mind. They literally almost lost their ever loving mind for some nasty stuff that authority has gotten into. And if authority is not going to uh, straighten up, Jehovah's authority is coming in and say, get the heck out of the way because I'm going to straighten your butt up then. Anyway, till next time, shalom.